Oh my god, guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The new school is upcoming. It's just one month to go. And I do I haven't like prepared anything yet. I mean, it's just like we have to start summer. Oh my god, what should I do right now? If you have thought like this, then this video for you because I prepared here seven essential things to have to buy in order to have a strong new academic year. Okay, so let so without further ado, let's get into it. And the first supplies, like I mean, it's really important to me, is the binder. Okay, so if you don't know what binder is, binder is a, it looks like a folder and contains all the homework or the paper that you need to put into it. For example, keep your paper and homework in the right place and looks more you know, tidy, so that you can easily, <clears throat> so that them can they can easily to be found whenever you need them for example here this picture of a binder and you can divide the binder into their separate subjects for example the first place is the math second is english third is history and so on and you can put the homework respectively in the right subjects that's where you would you can find whatever you need more like more convenient and easily so my first choice ever is binder and the second thing definitely you have to buy is not books yeah I, I you know I can emphasize the importance of notebook enough I mean notebooks is so important you need notebooks like to write down everything write down lectures what are important during lectures to do homework to you know, write down journal as well and notebook helps you to keep and write down stuff it makes you more like convenient when you really need to use them to revise for exam and the third and the, uh, like the third things is the pens of course what do you use to write of course pen and stuff like that so there are various types of pen you can pick up like every stores every bookstores you come they are definitely have a racket of pens you can buy pencil you can buy pen with an ink or you can you can buy brush pen you can buy a uh, gel pen as well and the pen that I normally use is gel pen because I think that it's like kind of smooth when I write on the paper and you know, it brings me a satisfaction because I really really love the feelings when I write down on the paper the sound of it all right so that the pens so if you want to buy a pen and you haven't decided that yet then I definitely suggest you should buy the uh, gel pen or brush pen but I normally use brush pen to write title because brush pen is normally very big and if you use brush pen to write down notes then I think it's not suitable so yep, I recommend you guys using gel pen. All right, and the fourth, let's see. And the fourth thing is highlighter. Well, if, well, I definitely sure that you have at least one to two highlighters. And highlighters can come really in handy whenever you have to like mark the important points or underline them to make them stand out, of course so that you can easily learn them first when you have to study for exam for example you can use highlighter to highlight the important points or important key points when you are reading a topic in a textbook so that whenever you want to study for exam you just open the textbook and you can see instantly the things you have to learn by learning these highlighters the highlighted notes and you can use highlighter you can use several highlighters also to mark different categories of information for example like me i normally use green highlighters to highlight for heading and i use pink highlighters for subtopics and i use blue for key points in each separate paragraphs in the topic so that's how i use you know, highlighters to highlight each category of information.
And the fifth thing is sticky notes. Well, I literally say for sure is that I wouldn't be today without sticky notes. Well, I use sticky notes all the time. Like I use it for learning vocabulary. I use it for remember some complex math math formulas i use it to remind me of important events like exams or you know important dates so using sticky notes is completely easy and simple you just went you just go to the bookstore and then buy some kind of sticky notes you want and there are like many types of sticky notes you can choose here's some you know pictures of sticky notes that really cute and you can literally choose whatever color of sticky notes you want and the sticky notes the color of sticky notes that i normally use is some line colors like pastel color like uh yellow or pink because it makes my pen stand down and i can easily see the things i have to remember so here you can see that there's some example of writing on sticky notes pretty easy and pretty convenient things do they and the sixth thing is a calendar or if you can afford you can buy a you know a planner so let me ask you questions how can you manage to remember important events like exam for example of course as i told you you can use sticky notes right but just imagine that you can that you like you forget all the dates today so i think that calendar can come in handy you can buy little calendars everywhere you can buy it on the cross uh, buy it on the stationery store you can buy it on the bookstore all types of calendar and the calendar i normally use well to be honest i don't really use calendar i use planner so here's some example planner and i think that using planner i can you know create and design the uh depends on my creation and my creative well i think that i prefer using calendar to using no i'm sorry i prefer using planner to using calendar because using planner i can divide i can design i can draw of all the colors yep so if you want you can use if you want some fancy things and cute things you can use planner but if you want to set simple and just use calendar to remember events then you can use calendar and last but not least the seventh thing i want to tell you is a pencil case so if you you feel like too annoyed when your pens and holders to disappeared without any chase then buy a pencil case instantly for me so if you are a student or if you are a pupil like me pencil case is not something that unfamiliar right you can use pencil case to you know contain all stuff like pen erasers holders rulers scissors uh like everything that support your studying you can put it inside a pencil case and there are like many 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 types of pencil case out there like some cute one some simple ones but i prefer using simple one because anyway we use pencil case to contain pens and stuff like that not to you know look at it every single day so i really really recommend you guys using simple pencil case but if you are type of loving cute things and you know adorable things then you can choose whatever type of pencil case you want all right so that's for today that's all about the seven things that i think essential for a new academic year and i really really excited and looking forward to coming back to school because you know i have literally two months of summer and now i am ready to go to school so i think that's all for today's video and see you later at the next videos bye bye